So as mentioned, we're less than 48 hours away from the 2024 Chicago Auto Show, and McCormick Place has been taken over by EVs. This week, I was invited to Argonne National Laboratory, where range anxiety and extreme weather are just some of the challenges sending scientists under the hood. For the first time in its history, the Chicago Auto Show has created an indoor track dedicated solely to electric vehicles as automakers attempt to lure would-be car and truck buyers into the world of plug-in driving. At Argonne National Labs in Le Mans, the Transportation Power Systems Division has converted an analog gas station into an all-electric fast-charging superstation. Manager Dan Dobrzynski is tasked with studying the current trends of EV owners and those considering buying an electric or hybrid vehicle. The refueling of a vehicle is, I mean, it's a ubiquitous process right now where you go to the gas station, you fill up, but um, we envision a future where there, um, there, may, there may be refueling stations, but the places that you normally go, like the workplace or the home, there's already electricity there. Whether you are charging from home, the office, or anywhere else, owning an EV can be challenging. Remember in January when some Tesla owners lost power in sub-zero temperatures and found charging stations not functioning in the extreme cold. There are challenges that have, that have to do with temperatures. Uh, we do study vehicle and their their performance, their charging performance at low temperatures as well as higher temperatures. Um, the summer months in Chicago can be pretty hot too and pretty humid. After record sales in early 2023, many consumers opted for gas-powered or hybrid vehicles late in the year, citing the dreaded range anxiety. The fear that no matter where their travels might take them, there might not be a charging station around when the juice runs out. The real challenge is that the vehicles are coming, the charging stations are coming, but the grid has to prepare for that as well. And a lot of times, um, understanding where to upgrade the grid, what you know, permitting is needed, uh, what where the funding source is coming from, that takes maybe decades in some cases. We run this through these large simulation models. And again, when you, when you see it pull out, you'll see the scope. We're going all the way up to Kenosha. But at Argonne, the future is decarbonization. And Joshua Ald's mobility division studies what is affectionately known as what-if analysis, envisioning a Chicago land where gas-powered vehicles are mostly museum pieces. The advantage we have with electrification is a lot of it can be done at fixed points with existing architecture, and we need to infill that. So the hope is for massive expansion of EVs where it's needed. That's right. While more charging stations are coming to Chicago, the real growth in EV sales is likely to come with the expansion of home and office hookups.